Man, so many good memories in that building. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy high squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm Mikey Bustos, and we are here in Toronto, Canada at my family's home, my parents' place. And guys, look. We just arrived from the airport, flying in from Montreal. There's RJ, there's Edmark. This is Edmark's first time yeah. in Toronto. Nika's maybe second time in Toronto. Yeah. Um, and there's RJ. We had a blast in New York and Montreal and just arrived. And of course, we've got food here, guys. My mom cooked a feast. Oh. Look at this. Daddy, do you have a joke of the day? Oh, joke of the day. Okay. Daddy joke of the day. What's the other name for ton of dirty laundry? Okay, what is another name for a ton of dirty laundry? What? 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 Washington. <laughs> <laughs> a ton of dirty laundry. Washington. Okay. Yeah, Washington. Okay. <laughs> German wine? Yes. Oh. It's, it's good? Yeah, it's very refreshing. It's, All right. It's, it's my chaser when I drink cognac. Mm -hmm. Cognac, it's, a chaser. And then... <laughs> it's like a pineapple. And why are you Both pouring beers. the glass on your hair? <laughs> <laughs> There's Raf. Hi, Raf. Yeah. My brother Joe and Maria. What's inside? Okay. There's my mom. German... Okay, my mom with made noodles. tinola with noodles. Yes. This here is caldereta. And what is this? This is um, pinakbet and chicken adobo. All the Filipino staples are here. Oh my! Okay. RJ says I should sit at the head of the table. Oh sweet! This is great! Family time! So Edmark and Nika are our friends. Well, friends with the last name Busto, so we call each other cousin. And um... They're also they're also from the Philippines, so we've just been on a fun tour these past few vlogs. My boy, what? Oh, Andy, it's about to run up. I feel like I'm five years old again. Very good. Yummy. Guys, my mom is a killer cook. Guys, this caldereta is five Mamuhai stars. Oh, my dad's giving us products. What is this? Huh? Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Water repellent. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Applies water beating technology. Good morning. Good morning. Guys. Breakfast. I'm eating overnight oats. My mom cooked hard boiled egg, sweet potato. Look, all that. We just got back from the gym. We did gym this morning and walked back. So we're ready to start the day. We're gonna go downtown. Ooh, I can't wait. I've waited years. OMG. Okay. Leaves are falling. Yeah. Which means more to rake. All right, guys. If you're new to raking leaves, it's like this. It's boring. I used to always hide when my mom would ask me to rake the leaves. Okay, I'm done. This is why I moved to Philippines. All right, Nick's got a takeaway coffee. My mom made coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go downtown, guys. Yay! Okay. Bye, mommy. All right. Guys, the leaves are beautiful. Wow. Guys, it's freak weather. It's so warm. It's like 20 degrees all day. For this time of the year, that's warm. It is crazy. I did not notice these plants until these three. Like, and yeah, it's beautiful, Nate. You, you look so good behind this. RJ's like, we could use it for tablescaping. I never noticed these plants. Like, they were just so normal and background to us who live here. But yeah, they're beautiful. That's insane how like the things you take for granted just because they're so normal 
but there's actually beauty in it. You see? Look at RJ, he's talking about tablescaping. He wants to like bring some back to the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, it turns brown after a while. It doesn't stay red. Yeah. It's spiky. Okay, our bus is here, let's go. You have to tap it. Okay, this is different. I think you tap it here. Tap it on the green thing. Yep. Oh. All right. Sweet. Guys, there's a bug crawling on my hand. How cute. Holding on to this ledge here. I think he wants coffee. Hi, guys. Gosh, I used to take this bus every day to and from school, going downtown. Good memories in the TTC. Oh, that's different. These screens. Interesting. All right, guys. This here is Wilson Station. OMG, I grew up at this station. So many memories here. Walk down this escalator. Uh-huh. This Ed station Mark's will take us all the way downtown. Good job, Ed Mark, taking the actual <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Burning off my mom's caldereta, yeah. yeah. Walk this way. Oh, good memories. It like literally has not changed over the decades. It's exactly the same. Same walls, same floors, same ceiling. Yeah, everything. Same pillars. Actually, the design of this entire subway station is so 80s. I mean, look at that. They didn't even change that. That's a picture of Toronto, and it's so faded. They didn't change that. OMG, guys, it's such a trip to be here. So they've got... You can order lottery tickets here at this booth here. There's some snacks. And tarts and donuts there. We're gonna buy lottery tickets. Why? All right, our train's here. Sweet. The trains look slightly different. They're so silver. Oh wait, this is not a train. It's not stopping. Oh, it's going somewhere. Okay, never mind. OMG, the memories of this place, guys. Going to school, studying for exams. Um, Heading downtown to party. So many memories here. Are you scared that I'm getting too close to the edge? Yeah. I could be I could be blindfolded and not go over the edge. This is my this is my old stomping ground. Alright, okay, this one is coming and this is our train. Alright, here it is. Yay! Alright. So the Toronto subway system and, and public transit system is very efficient. You can get anywhere in the GTA through public transit. All right. Open Sesame. Let's go, Sego. This was the station I got off every morning to go to high school, private school, St. Michael's. All right, guys, we're here. Dundas Station. Guys, I can't wait. Yep, we exit here. Oh, wow, this is different. Okay, cool. All right, guys, how long in the vlogs have I been saying that I've been dying? Go ahead, sorry. To go to Eaton Center. Oh, we're here, OMG. We're at Eaton Center, guys. Love it here. Now I used to just bum around this mall and just like pretty much do nothing. Couldn't buy anything, I didn't have any money, but I love the ambiance of this mall. Right downtown. Mmm guys, this mall smells so good. They like, they added like a fragrance to the mall. How interesting. David's tea, I remember that. Lint chocolate, see? Oh, this is TELUS, a mobile provider. For those of you in the Philippines who work for TELUS, the telemarketing firm, this is the company that you're providing a service for. There's Root, very Canadian brand. Whoa, look at this huge reindeer sculpture made of, well, it looks like paper, but it's like metal and like a giraffe. That's a reindeer, babe. All right, guys, we are here at Young and Dundas Square. This here is uh, pretty much like our Times Square. 
Um, they have shows here in this area. I've performed here before and it's just a really cool place to hang out. Lots of billboards, LEDs, etc. They have festivals here. On that stage, guys, their sound system is so awesome. And performing here was such an honor. Like, they have good acoustics. Because of all these buildings and billboards, the acoustics of this area, so awesome. One of my favorite places to perform. All right. So we're just walking around downtown. Um, we're trying to go towards City Hall. I want them to see City Hall. But I don't know if we're going the right way, guys. Are we? All you Torontonians, it's been a while. Wow, guys, look at this. I've never seen this before. It's like a bunch of food trucks. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. The food. The Caribbean food. All right. Hey, Jollibee. Some Filipino representation. Yes. <laughs> Nix, you want Jollibee? Yes. You miss please. home? <laughs> yes. Look at all these pigeons! <laughs> wow! They are not afraid of people. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at the street cars! They're so different now! That fits a lot of people! It's basically like a train on the street now. Before it was maybe two connections, but now it's lower to the ground and longer. How neat! Okay guys, so we googled. <laughs> Where Toronto? There it is. There's City Hall. Thank goodness for Google. All right, here we are. This is City Hall. Here it is. Um, in the winter time, they have skating over there. Parliament building, and then there's the Toronto sign. Everyone takes pictures with this. It's actually quite beautiful, City Hall. Really nice design. It looks like they're doing repair on the waterfall because usually there would be like fountains here But we're taking pictures of course All right All right guys now this might be a bit controversial because people from New York have tried to argue with me, people from Chicago have tried to argue with me, people from all kinds of cities have tried to argue with me on this. Toronto has the best hot dogs, period. All Torontonians know this, you'll see why. Okay, and Nika wants a hot dog. So Nix, you choose what hot dog? We have hot dog, sausages, big selection. Okay, Nika wants a halal sausage. Halal sausage, please. It's not boiled. It's not sitting in hot water. It's not sitting on a hot plate. It's legit grilled. And the bread too, it's nice and toasted. Okay, there's the sausage. Nika, you said the Montreal sausage was small. <laughs> the, the Montreal hot dogs were small. Yeah, this Toronto. Big now. Yeah, that's big. This is my kind of dog. And there's the regular hot dogs. See, look at how big our hot dogs are. Okay, even though size doesn't matter, yes it does. Okay, so this is what makes Toronto hot dog special. All the toppings. Um, some are spicy, like the peppers are probably spicy. There's relish, pickles, sauerkraut, all kinds of sauces. They're missing the bacon. There's usually like dried bacon. I'm gonna put sauerkraut, cause hello, microbiome. This is healthy. It's fermented. Yes. Mmm. Add some pickles. Also good for microbiome. RJ's adding peppers. Oh yeah. Let's add some relish. All right. And then let's add some mustard. RJ's like, that's not a hot dog. That's a salad. Yeah, that's the whole point. Super loaded. Definitely ketchup. Oh, babe, what else do you want? Look, this is a mix of sauces. Let's just add a little bit of that. Oh, it's clogged. Okay, never mind. Um, let's add this spicy mayo. Mmm. All right, babe. 
Let's go sit in one of those benches down there. Whoa, Ben, look at the size of this planterer. I'm surprised there aren't bacon bits. Usually there are bacon bits. All right, Neeks. Let's do this. Look at that, guys. Mmm. Mmm. How is it? <laughs> Juicy. Juicy! All right. All right, let's see. Look at how loaded this is. Um, I'll try this side. Oh, you had a bite already. Was it good? All right, let's see. Mmm. 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 Good? Yeah. Edmark says it's good. Woo! And those peppers. Cool. Good, right? Abu High Squad. This Toronto hot dog. Five Abu High Stars. <laughs>building here is where we filmed Canadian Idol the CN Tower is huge oh and this here is the Roger Dome although back in the day it was called the Sky Dome and I still want to call it the Sky Dome the roof opens up it's like a retractable roof and right now the roof is open and it's home to the Toronto Blue Jays yes this is where we filmed Canadian Idol Metro Toronto Convention Center Man, so many good memories in that building. Edmark really wanted to look for this place. It's Scotiabank Arena. It used to be called Air Canada Center. Um, he wanted to take a photo with it because this is where the Raptors play for the NBA. Guys, Edmark got an espresso. Look how tiny that is from Tim Hortons. All right, famous coffee place. That's funny. Yeah. We are here in Eaton Center again because Nico wants to do some shopping. All right. This is the famous water fountain. I remember as a kid waiting because it every now and then it'll spit a water fountain way up there. And back down. This is iconic. This here is the store of Drake, I believe, who is a Torontonian. Ah, and here it is. The Canadian geese that are flying here. That's the very Eaton Center. We're here at Harry Rosen now. It's like a bunch of um, brands, designer brands, like Canali, uh, Hugo Boss. It's all men's, I believe. See? Wow, look at this jacket. Amazing. Versace. This here is Canada Goose. Very famous uh, winter coats. Whoa, this is new. It's like this cool walkway, and wow, look at how trippy and geometric it is. Oh, oh, and this street is undergoing construction. Interesting. Guys, Eaton Center rocks. It's been a while. Although, I would like to go to Yorkdale Mall as well. Another really good mall here in the GTA. Guys, this is the biggest jacket I've ever seen. Stand next to it, Nika, just so... Mabu High Squad can see the size comparison. Look at how big that jacket is. It's huge. Mabu High Squad, we have a friend here. Hello. His name is Aiden. Nice, nice to meet you guys. You're studying here? I, I study, yeah. What school? At Humber College, I study accounting. Accounting? Yeah. Awesome, good. This guy's gonna be rich. No. Because no. we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you. So Mabu High Squad, we have another friend here. What's your name? Irene. Irene. And she was like, 
Hi RJ, hi Mikey. What's your, what, what, Irene, what do you do here? What's your job? Uh, I'm retired. You're retired? Awesome. I just go shopping. How long have you been living here in Toronto? Uh, since 1983, I think. 1983? Yeah. Awesome. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Oh my god. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, she's, she's my Buhay squad. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Alright guys, Ben, Mark and Nika are trying Jamaican food. As you guys saw in the previous Toronto vlog, Jamaican food is so good here. Ready? Three, two, one, crunchy. Mm. It's jerk chicken and oxtail rice and peas and coleslaw. How is it? So good. Yeah. So what good. are you eating? That's the jerk chicken. chicken. Yeah. And Nika's so eating good. the oxtail. Eat it with the rice and the beans. Oh, so good. Guys, Nika says something. Sorry, I almost. Finish the, the oh. thing because this is five Mabuhay stars. Yes, five Mabuhay stars. It's so good today, too. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good, guys. And the collagen and the, the sauce from the, the oxtail. Guys, this is the owner of Jerk Express. Hi there. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> the food is so delicious. Thank you, man. Thank you. Honestly. <laughs> and he just gave us this. What is this? Aki fish? Aki. 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 So Aki is the fruit and then it's got like, Oh, it's a fish. fruit. Yeah, yeah. Codfish. And codfish. Yeah. This, apparently this is the uh, national, national dish, dish of Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh. Are you from Jamaica? Yeah. Where? Kingston? Mobe. Mobe. Yeah. Awesome. RJ, we need to go to Jamaica soon. Sure. We, we, no, we love the food. And we hear great things about Negril and all of that. So we're going to go then. Thanks. OMG, guys. He knows me because of my mom. Well, oh my God. My mom gave even the, the name to look up on YouTube. Hilarious. She did. Well, that's the way they're on. Yeah, yeah. My mom is a walking billboard. That's the way they're on. When you go and eat Jamaican food in Toronto, you have to look for the good places. And this is definitely one of them. They cater and look, that's the number. Go check them out. What's up, Mambu High Squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, we're at this really cool place near my home. And, well, check it out. They've got all kinds of pumpkins it's actually a nursery like see they sell baby trees different plants tree saplings but they also sell pumpkins of different kinds and colors see some have these pimply areas look at this squash gourds of various shapes and sizes isn't that crazy it's cool man it has been so long since i've carved a pumpkin for halloween oh my gosh look at these ones they're so cute <laughs> they're so tiny. They're like apple size. Yeah. yeah. We don't have these in the Philippines, do we? we? So cool. I wonder if we can bring this to the Philippines. You could put it on display. It will rot? I mean, I've seen pumpkins gourds on... I mean, squash gourds on display before. You just dry it out? I don't know. See? More here. Oh, bad. Look at this. Corn. They've got cute setups here. See? Bales of hay. <gasps> Let's see what they have in here. It's all garden stuff. We'll buy seeds. Ooh, what kinds of seeds? Oh, flower seeds. Um, maybe we should ask which grows in a tropical country though. And are we allowed to bring seeds to the Philippines? I wonder. Like something tells me tulips doesn't grow in the Philippines. Oh, so nice. Gorge. Cute pots. Wow. Ooh, look at these air plants. I love. See? Talangas. This is alive, guys. It's an air plant. It abs it sucks moisture from the air, and that's how it gets water. Um, 
So you can, and it's soilless, it's an epiphyte. You can literally stick it to a wall and it'll grow. This would do really well in the Philippines. It needs partial to full sun, I think. Here are more air plants, you see? They're a type of bromeliad. You can literally like stick it into a nook in a wall or something and it'll grow. Just need to spray it every now and then. Oh wow, a pitcher plant. <gasps> a nepenthes. You guys know this, this is a carnivorous plant. This lip has like a certain slime that attracts insects and then they come and start drinking from the slime and then they fall in and then the plant digests them. They get stuck. There are all these hairs that line the inside that point downwards so that the ants can't uh, climb out. Ooh, eucalyptus. Mmm, smells so good. Oh wow, they got all kinds of plants here. <gasps> hey, traveler's palm, we have that at home growing outside. Fiddle leaf fig, we have this growing in the house too. Now as a kid, I remember loving coming to plant nurseries like this because I loved building terrariums. I still do, and I do for my ant channel, Ants Canada. But as a kid, I had to like study all the different kinds of tropical plants mostly. Ooh, look at this, bird of paradise. We also have this in the Philippines. Of course, pothos. So easy to grow indoors. <gasps> Ooh, gorgeous. Ficus elastica. We have this growing under our stairs on the Itokish uh, furniture bench. Ooh, cool. Look at these bonsais. See? Cute. Very, very cute. Guys, here they also offer apple picking. Look, look at all these apple trees. Love it. RJ wanted to apple pick. They're not perfectly round. They're kind of like bumpy. I mean, at least you know it's natural. Yeah. Maybe the, oh, some of them are falling. You know, maybe like the natural apple isn't perfectly round. RJ wants to ask if they have apple seeds <laughs> to try to grow in the Philippines. He's like, I'll work my magic. Cause apples kind of need a bit of cold. And those, there have been some successful attempts in some parts of the Philippines. Apples generally don't grow in the Philippines and it's imported from China usually. Wow, look at the pond. Beautiful. Man, I can't wait for our pond to look like this. So guys, if you want to check this cool place out, it is called Angus Farm and Nursery. Gift shop, garden center, farm. And that's their website. How cool. I love it. Come support this really cool local business. Guys, we are here at the home of Maria's parents. Hi mom, good to see you. And we are here because Maria's family is preparing a Kazakhstan style barbecue. Oh, what is, what is this? Samavar? Okay. Rafa, yeah, Rafa, can you show us what, how it works? Wow, and oh my gosh, that smells so good. This is lamb. Mmm, it smells so good. Look at that protein, guys. <gasps> and the weather's so nice. It's it's nice and cool. They have a beautiful garden, guys. They grow so much food and vegetables and herbs and flowers and berries. See? Wow. wow. So there's water in there. And then a, in, is, it, it? is it pieces of wood or paper? Wood and paper. Oh, wood and paper inside. Okay. If and then what is it for to... You can just look inside. Ooh. What is this for? Cooking? Uh, for tea. Oh, for tea! Wow. This is gonna make tea? How interesting. Oh my, it? look at that. Is this coleslaw? Mmm. Yeah. Dips. <gasps> Eggplant. And... I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness. Yum. What a treat. And then this looks like red cabbage. Oh! Beets, or I don't know what this is. Yeah, beets. Mmm. Oh, thanks, Maria. Guys, Maria brought zero alcohol, alcohol free beer, and Stella. Mm. Wow. Look at that lamb, guys. Whoa. Okay, and then you just get some of the sides. Ooh, I love this. And it all looks so healthy. Wow. I'm gonna just grab a little bit of all these sides. Oh, this is cauliflower. And then some beets. If you can't beat them, eat them. <laughs> all right. They did? The dill from this? Awesome. Guys, homegrown dill. It looks so good. Oh, this one with alcohol. Yeah, no, the, the non-alcohol one is there. Oh, this one is 
Quite. Guys, I love non-alcohol beer. So, for those of you who are just joining us, I've been on a beer reduction or alcohol reduction diet. Not diet, but alcohol reduction in my life. Mm. So I've been drinking zero alcohol beer. It's very healthy. Got all the nutritional benefits of beer, but no alcohol. But guys, I have an admission. I drank two Molson Canadian beers last night. We went out last night and I drank two Molson Canadian beers. I just wanted to see if there was a difference, but there was no difference. <laughs> But I'll continue to not drink alcohol because, I don't know, it just somehow feels better and healthier. Mm. Mm. Alright guys, let's try this Kazakhstan style barbecue. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Wow. I'm gonna eat it with this. Mmm. Mm. Guys, the meat is so tender and the flavor, it actually doesn't even taste like lamb. It's like not as gamey as normal lamb. Mm. The dill! Oh, the explosion of dill! Joe, it's good! Oh my god! My brother was right! That dill was delicious! Oh, do you guys want wine? Open up! Mm. The dips are so good! Coleslaw, mmm. -hmm. On point. Which one is good? Let's try the beets. Mm. Mm. Did you guys add sugar to the beets? No. They're so good. Oh my gosh, the beets are so good. Yeah. They're like, well, I mean, beets are naturally sweet, but these are extra sweet. Oh my gosh, my boy squad. This Kazakhstan style barbecue is five Mabuhai stars. <laughs> What is your favorite? The cauliflower salad. The cauliflower salad, yeah. Mmm. It's that dill. <laughs> dill is one of the best herbs ever. Next to coriander. If you have any questions, uh, questions. what you're eating. Oh yeah, you? I will. <laughs> Thank you. This is all so delicious. Mm -hmm. well, and what is this? Is this kimchi? Mama, kimchi. Wow. Mama, she made, made kimchi. kimchi. But it's like Kazakhstan style kimchi. You made this kimchi at home? Yes. Wow. Do they make kimchi in Kazakhstan? Yes. They do? They had a lot of... Uh, Koreans? Koreans. Oh, in yes. Kazakhstan? Yes. Really? Yes. I never thought there would be Kore a lot of Koreans in Kazakhstan. We had many Korean neighbors. Okay. So Kazakhstan it was part of the Soviet Union? Or, like, is it, it considered was, yes. Russia? Okay. It was until uh, 1991. I see. Oh, wow. So what's inside this tea? Okay. So far, it's just an old way, old-fashioned way of how they boiled water. Okay. Fire inside and the water is out on the on outside, the outside Boiling. Okay, Boil so it's just ice. hot boiling water. Boiling. And then they put the tea in yeah. there. Whoa, there's, there's an actual fire in there. <laughs> Amazing. This is what I love about being in Canada is, here in Canada, there's like a whole mix of different cultures and they all keep their own culture, you know what I mean? They call it a tossed salad, as opposed to a melting pot, like some other countries which also have multiple cultures, where they all assimilate to one culture. Canada is a diverse tossed salad of cultures. And, you know, I grew up with kids from all different nations and I've grew up eating different kinds of food from different countries and it's just a cool thing that I love about life here in Canada. Everyone just kind of keeps their culture from whatever country they're from. So this lamb is probably the one of the best lambs I've ever had and you barbecued it but you said something that it's not barbecued using coal? Charcoal? Charcoal, yeah. Do you use what? Wood? Well, it's charcoal, wood. but it's mm -hmm. natural, like wood charcoal. Oh, wood charcoal. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Not like coal. And that affects the taste. Because, yeah. yeah, it doesn't have that, like, gamey taste that lamb sometimes has. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is part beets, part apple. No wonder oh. it's sweet. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, uh -huh. so that's how you keep it warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so neat. I love that. <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs> RJ's admiring the wallpaper. 
They did a great job oh, here. Light, light against the wallpaper. Oh wow. Like Such a cool like style. Love it. And guys, look at this. Tea time. Is Kazakhstan a tea drinking culture? Oh yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, they don't drink coffee? Not coffee. You offer tea to anybody who knocked at your door. Really? <laughs> Interesting. I like the whole paper. It's so cute. Oh my cake. <gasps> Bread with cheese? And it's homemade? Wow. What is that? Mm, tart. Tart. Uh, yum. Okay, so how it works is pour a little bit from the tea kettle and then a little bit of boiling water. Awesome. To dilute it. All right, good job. Good. Thank you. Oh my God, it smells good. It smells good? Mm. All right, let's try okay. it. Flower. Tastes like flower. Like flowers. Tea. Floral. Tea it's like a floral tea. Cheers. Let's try. Cheers. cheers. Yes. How do you say cheers in Kazakhstan? Uh, Salute. Salute. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Spanish, daddy. How do you say cheers in Kazakhstan? Viva. It's not, it's a country, so they don't oh, they don't say no cheers. cheers. No but... cheers. Daddy, what did you but, say? You say that again. You call the alcohol, you call it booze. And then you say, oh, guys, toss. Booze. Toss. Toss. I, oh. I guess that was the joke of the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so good. Everything are good. Mm. Oh, it's very, good. Everything we buy. Is it good, mommy? Yeah. Cheers. No, homemade. Oh my gosh, it's definitely floral. Oh, so the bread has like... It's so good. Oh. And what does it taste like? Um, You said pan... Pan de coco? De coco. Yeah. Tastes like pan de coco. Guys, look at these boots from Siberia. Oh. Look at that. If it's, even it's, if it's nine, wow. uh, minus 55. Minus 55, it's still insulated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they look like massive Astro Boy shoes, but like fur. But it's not made of fur. It's like... Oh, it's wool. <gasps> RJ, we need to go to Siberia. <laughs> Guys, when you're done, according to Kazakhstan tradition, you turn your tea upside down. You're not allowed to say no, no. That's considered rude, right? You just turn it upside down when you're done. Daddy, not the bottle of water. Oh. <laughs> guys, this is a strawberry compote. Oh, let's try it, guys. Yeah. Mmm. It's like strawberries. Like warm, sweet so strawberry drink. Hello? Mmm. Oh, wow. Look, this is how it's made. <gasps> Just literal strawberries and boiled? Interesting. Hi, Cypher. Cypher, daddy. <laughs> Cypher. Cypher. <laughs> Sahara. 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 Oh. Sahara. Hi, Sahara. Sahara. Hi. <laughs> Cypher. 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 Daddy will be back, okay? <laughs> Daddy will be back. Daddy will be back. <laughs> they preoccupied the thing. Yeah. Cypher! It's us! Remember? You know us. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you. We miss you, Sipes. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> he ran to the door. <laughs> we'll Sorry. be back in two weeks. One week or two weeks? Week and a half. <laughs> Sipes, see? We miss you. Sipes, daddy will be back, okay? We miss you. We miss you. <laughs> Sahara, Sahara. Sahara, we'll be back, okay? You behave. Sahara. Oh, I miss them so much. <laughs> they think we're outside, I think. Yeah. Oh, We'll be back, okay? <laughs> He's so confused. Daddy we're coming, we miss you. We'll be <laughs> home soon. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. Do you miss us? Do you miss us? We miss you. We oh, miss you, that. Sahara. Guys, that's always the hardest part of traveling, leaving our dogs behind. But I heard we can bring them here to Canada. If um, if we fly a certain airline, they just need some paperwork done. Um, so maybe one day we'll bring the dogs here. <laughs>
Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, it's early morning. Um, and all of us here are getting ready. Yes. Because we're heading somewhere special this morning. Um, this is a must visit if you travel to Toronto, to, Ca to this part of Canada. You guys must visit this place. Even Pinoy is coming. He's ready. He's waiting in his bag. He's like, hurry up, guys. Let's go. How about you guys? Are you ready for this place? Yeah. We're going to? I have uh, four layers already inside. I know. It's so cold. Yeah. Today, guys, single digits, today. single digits today. Yesterday, it was like hot, 19 degrees. Today, it's six degrees. Welcome to Toronto weather. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> An Eskimo. <laughs> Guys, we have our headgear to keep warm. Maria, are you ready for this secret place we're going to now? Mm. Do you agree that people who are visiting Toronto must visit this secret place if they come here? Uh, yes. Especially if they're my Buhai squad. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, my Buhai squad, I can't wait to take you to this place. However, I've got to end the vlog here because it's so long now. So if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all the support. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed the adventure through Toronto, Canada. Um, and in the next vlog, we are taking you to this special place. Leave your guesses in the comments if you think you know where we're going. But if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Yes, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys. Love you. Mm.